G'day there folks, Joe Bond reports live. I'm here at a place called the Suspension Bridge. I bet you didn't get that. <laughs> I kind of forgot where I was because I'm in the back ends of uh, Tumut, which is down in the snowy mountains of New South Wales. And um, I've come across this bridge. Now I am roaming the countryside aimlessly with no idea where I'm going, but I kind of wanted a day where I just felt a bit random and today's that day. So I came across this bridge right i'm going to walk you across it in a sec but i'm just going to tell you something um this suspension and pedestrian bridge has allowed the hume and hovel walking track to be rerouted off the snowy mountains highway and the blowering dam access road and onto the now disused section of the old highway the bridges was designed by waldron bridges of yakandanda in victoria and a span of 60 meters wow that's long eh? you should see us just look Okay, um, the bridge was constructed by the Australian Army 21 Construction Regiment and Royal Australian Engineers as a training program and it took seven days. All right, the Human Hovel Walking Track offers the opportunity to discover the natural beauty of the Southern Highlands in New South Wales. I said way past the Southern Highlands, way down. Anyway, the track which stretches some 400 k's between Yass and Albury retraces as closely as possible the route followed by the explorers Hamilton Hume and William Hovell on their expedition to Port Phillip in the spring and summer of 1824 and 1825. The track provides an appropriate and practical monument to two of Australia's most single-minded and resourceful explorers. Hmm. Oh, so here we go. The car's there. The dogs are in the car. Look at this. How good is that? Oh, wow. This is the Tumut River. That is just, it's gold. It's pretty. You can actually see to the bottom. It's clear, very clear. And this structure behind me is fascinating. Wow. What a glorious day. Sensational. So glad I came and did a random trip outside of Tumut, New South Wales. All right. Joe Bond checking it later on the bridge.